Hi friend, I'm making a quick video wherein you will learn how to merge a Scopus data and Web of Science data. You can combine them and then you can have a bibliometric analysis paper. Right? So it will be a very quick and small uh, video which will help you to learn it. So let us first go to the Scopus database and download a file. I am using Influential Marketing to search the uh, bibliographic records or the articles. And um, see, remember uh, two things that whenever you are exporting the data from a Scopus database, it should be in a bibtex format. So use bibtex format to export the data from um, uh, Scopus database. So it is exporting now. Meanwhile, I'm going to the Web of Science uh, uh, database, uh, the website, and I'm searching with the same keyword. Here, you can see there are 207 documents I have found. So I'm exporting. So Web of Science data, uh, you should uh, export in plain text. This you should uh, keep in your mind whenever you are exporting, uh, always for the merging of the file. This is the basic rule that uh, the Scopus database from there in the bibtex format and from Web of Science database, it should be in a, your um, uh, text txt format. So just to show you 207 from Web of Science and 605 from these many records from uh, Scopus database. Now, what I have done that uh, my files are in document. It has been saved here. Just uh, I'm deleting this thing so that, and I'm renaming it, okay. This is my web of science, WOS, I'm making it. And this is my Scopus. I'm just giving the name as a Scopus. You can give any name. It's not uh, mandatory that you follow me only. Now, the first thing, when you open the R Studio, you can merge the file only in the R Studio. Okay. So when you are opening, please, the session that you are working, please set the working directory. So choose the directory where files are. The files are in my downloads file folder. So select, make it the default. You can see here, BJ and downloads. Uh, now I'm going to run some codes. These are very basic codes. First of all, we need to load the library file of bibliometric. Uh, but before that, if you are first time running it, you need to install packages of bibliometrics. Okay, first time if you are running, if you have already run in your, uh, this, these things in your uh, computer, then you no need to run it. But if you are first time running, then you run it first. The install that package is bibliometric. It will, take, it will take few seconds. Now it is active. Here, you can see the blue, uh, this um, icon is ready here. Now you go to the library and activate the bibliometric library because the package and all the functions and coding we are going to access through the bibliometric library only. Now, again, we have activated the bibliometric uh, library. Let's go to load the input, load the data of both the database that we have downloaded. So remember, I have given the file name for the Web of Science data that is WOS capital. Uh, it is very case sensitive. Remember, where whatever the capital or a small letter you are using in the name, it should be as it is. Very case sensitive. The software is. So I am loading the data of uh, Web of Science. So I have given Web underscore data as a name. You can give any name. Okay, you can give other name also. But whenever you are giving the other name, here you have to change. Look at here, we are using the same name. So web underscore data, that is the web of science data. Select this and run it. Remember, you have 
change your session working directory to the uh, uh, folder wherein your files are lying. Select it, run it. Now converting the file. Once it will be converted, it is done. It is showing. Okay. And right hand side in this console, you can see 207 files are converted. Now I am importing a Scopus data file. So this is the command you need to run. Select it and run it. So now it is come uh, again uh, converting the data file. Uh, now it is converted and right hand side again you can see in the environment, global environment uh, quadrant, this Scopus data 605. You remember 605 we have downloaded from Scopus and 207 uh, documents were downloaded from Web of Science. Now the importing of the data from both the databases is over. Now I'm going to run the command combining both the files. So combined, this is merged deep EB sources. And this is here you need to take care. Whatever the name you have given for Web of Science, so as it is, it should be. And for a scoper, see, this is the capital, so I'm using capital. If you are using a small letter, then you should use small. So once I highlight, this will again indicate this, the Scopus data. And then remove dot duplicated is equal to T is the command that we are going to run to combine both the files, run it. You can see 142 duplicated documents have been removed. Now we have created here at the right hand side, you can see combined 670 records. So 605 and 207 merged it and 142 duplicates were there. So that was again removed. Uh, now, once you are converted it, combined it, now I am moving to the exporting of the file. Our file is ready now. We have merged the data. We have removed, removed the duplicate uh, uh, records. So we are going to download it in an Excel format, XLS. So first we need to run library. Activate the Excel reading function first. Yes, uh, now it is activated. Then next you need to run the write.xls. This will help us the combine. See, again, you should be very careful. The, the, the name you are using, as it is right hand side, the file name is combined. So the capital and a small, be careful or else it will not run. Run it. So my file, if I go and see in the document uh, download folder i will find there will be a new file that is the combined one 12 o'clock you can see this is my combined file you can see all 670 records i am going to see it here almost 670 records right this is the way how you should combine the files now uh, you can load it whether it is working or not I'm loading it, uh, just running the library function of Bibliometric. I, I just want to load it on Biblioshiny. And show you whether it is working on. Yeah. Now go to the load data. And remember, this time we should choose load Bibliometric files. Go to the browse and locate your combined file. Wait a few seconds, just a few seconds you wait. Let it load and then we'll click the start. We can, so it, again, it takes few few seconds to load the entire file. Click on start. Now we have all the summary, close it. So data is ready. So now we can, have our bibliometric analysis on this data set. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.